Hey there, I just want to toss this and start the video to say that I do have some audio issues going on right now where I think that my XLR cord is just broken. You'll probably hear it right now as well. There's a little bit of audio skipping, so it does happen throughout the video, and I do apologize for it. There's not really a way for me to fix it. Hopefully you enjoy anyway, and have yourself a good one. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Tokyo Ghoul Dark War. In today's episode, what we're here to do is we're going to be going ahead and having some fun with a brand new character because right here I went ahead and worked on some of the stages I've been doing a lot of sweeps and trying to get the hard levels done with most of my stamina per day and now if I go ahead and actually if I check this 79 pieces so far I've been trying my hardest to try and get these characters before the end of the season it is the sixth day of the festival so I got it close but here we are, and here our first pair unit inside the game is. Welcome to the team, Kaneki and Toka. And there we go. I'm actually noticing Kaneki's hair seems to have like a straight line where it cuts off right on the left side of his head. Weird. Either way, that is going to be very, very fun. I'm actually going to go ahead and max them out right now with as many potions as I could possibly have. Um, it's been a lot of, like, hoping for the best and hoping to be able to, like... Truthfully, I didn't end up counting how close I would get to getting their character based on how much I was investing per day. So I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get them, truthfully. But now we're good to go. I'm also just going to go ahead and put as many of these in as possible. There we go. We're at level 69 now. I feel as if that's probably some form of joke I can make right there. I'm not gonna, but it's there. Oh, that's, that's a single. Oh, uh, he's... Ah. Here's my issue. I, I, I have so few of the mini materials, so, like, I, I don't want to, like, spend diamonds to use these, but I really want to max them as far as possible. I I can't go beyond plus two right now. I don't have the sweep cards for it. Oh, that's such a shame, dude. I mean, we can go ahead and show off their moveset anyway. They have a pretty decent amount of power, and it's not like it improves their moveset via leveling them up. Unless they don't have their passive just yet. Now they have it. Okay. We'll just go ahead and show them off at green plus two then. Because I totally don't have the materials for it, and I am good on trying to... Use diamonds to sweep all of that. Here, I actually want to go ahead and... We're going to unequip our entire team here. So I really want to try them out with only their power. Let's go ahead and toss them on right there. Alrighty, team. I should probably put them in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the middle. There is our brand new squad of Kaneki and Toka. They also have their star point, which is awesome. Also saw someone comment about the fact that it's just an objection from uh, Ace Attorney. That's real nice. I like that a lot. Here, we're going to go into Tokyo Search. We'll go into this level, and I want to try out everything. Also, I got a new headset last night. I'm really enjoying it. I'm so used to using the, like, little earbuds now that it feels really nice to actually have bass in what I'm doing and actually be able to hear things properly. Hey there, Arima. My goal isn't to hit you, it's to test out the skills, so please don't come near me. First, small stab forward, nothing too special. Second is big whip. Third is big pop-up, which is awesome. And a double animation where it swaps out to the Toka. Also swaps the, uh... It seems to swap the icons for even the skills in the bottom right as well. I do like that. It's actually interesting that they only have Toka here when you finish the level. Here, actually, can I do a harder level from that? I do want to try out some things. We'll do... I still want to get the Sukiyama shards off of this. We'll do the Shachi level and try and be careful. I want to test out all the moveset of Toka as well. I also want to go read up about them again because I think I need to. I'm going to pop this. I wanted to swap characters. Um, I guess I proc Shachi to come and try and punch me in the face. That was cool. I like the cuts with, like, I am invisible. 
I can't move. Um, I also can't attack, by the way. Uh, none of the attack buttons work. So I guess that's one way to do it. Let's try that again. This time I won't try and jump the gun like I did. Whoops. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, here we go. Hey there, Shachi. How you doing today on this fine... Is it a month? It's a Monday today! Oh god! Time is passing! I like that animation a lot. It's kind of weird that it sparkles all fancy and blue, but it goes well. I want to test out... Stop hitting me and stunning me! I want to see this. So first is a dash. Second is just the spin. We knew about that. Third. It seems to just like... The damage doesn't seem too crazy on it. Here, I'm dying super hard, but at least showing the moveset of them. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, maybe Shachi is a bit too difficult for it. I do like their moveset, though. Um, I don't know how well it's going to adapt into, like, actual use inside PvP and stuff like that. Because, like... The DPS of the Kaneki seems pretty crazy, but the Tokas doesn't seem to be the greatest so far. Granted, that's only because, like, they're not very upgraded, I suppose, but I'll pop this. Is this gonna kill all of them? What's the range on it? So it is actually, it hit Arima from where he was from the location shooting forward towards Hachikawa. That's a pretty good area on that. Let's go ahead and read up about these again. I want to see exactly what they have to offer. So, we have... Skill. Charge. So it's a launch and attack, which is just the stab, or it's the charge forward, so it's the dash. The suppression is slash Kahune onto enemies, stun the targets for three seconds, and mark them as prey. The next other one is Toka, spin in the air, jump at high speeds, and release Kahune. And you have to make sure they're marked to be able to do more damage with Kotoka's version of it. So you need to try and remember that. So second, third, second, the best. And then we have the United Bombardment where they just do it together, and the next skill guarantees a crit. Actually, if you use suppression, then that, then this again. That boosted damage is actually a crit as well. That sounds real neato. I actually wanted to go ahead and do this, though. Because I wanted to see exactly what the differences between all of their movesets are. Um, we're going to go into... I don't know, where could I go where the people wouldn't attack me too much? Um... Okay, so I'm going into the Ayato level over here because I just want to try out their movesets on the far side away from the boss. Um, so first and foremost, we're going to be trying out the Mask, Kaneki, and Toka together and testing out their movesets and comparing them. So we have the first. We have the second. So very basic. We have the third. Big animation. Swings, stabs, and shoot. We have a dash. I want to show that again afterwards. Second is the spin. Actually goes pretty far, to be honest. I want to see the first again. I want to see the... I just like the animation on that. The charge looks really, really nice. The Especially, like, darker purple effects work really well for it. Like, if you look at this, I like it. And the third again procs and jumps backwards and does the exact same animation. This time, though, Kaneki is the second one that pops in. I like it. So, for the mask Kaneki, we have his first. Big stabs. It actually is a different stab from the one that this Kaneki does. Very slightly. No, it's the same. No, it's the same. Okay. I can't actually proc his second without having his buff on, unfortunately. I'm just gonna try out his third. So his third is the giant stabs. And obviously this Kaneki's one is giant stabs and then swap out as well. So it is pretty much just the same moveset between the last Kaneki and this one. We also have the first, which is the spin. The effects are more red on this one of the Toka, rather than being like the purple of the other one. The second is a dash, similar to the other one, but it's a little bit differently colored. And the third is jump up and shoot downwards. So it is just a mix of the R Toka with the Mask Kaneki with different effect colors. Um, I don't entirely know how much I like that because it's very copy paste. But all in all, I think this character is really neat. Um, it doesn't have the same passives as the Mask Kaneki that uh, we already have. 
so it's not quite as helpful as him because he has the attack buffs and that's why he was relevant in the past in ghoul expulsion but this this one i'll def definitely have to test out more and see what she has to offer as well as the kaneki has to offer go ahead and proc this oh, i like that because we have multiple tokas as well i am a fan it's cute I'm gonna go ahead and mash those as well. Normal attacks are very basic as well. It seems to be just the exact same as the mashed Kaneki. Now let's test out the Toka's normal attacks as well. Unless I hit in the wrong direction. You can move while using your third though. That is good to know. So she does punch. Does this Toka punch as well? Yes, she does. So it is the exact same. What's up? Long time no see, dear sister. Not too much. I'm actually your dear sister this time. Look at that! You finally got it right for once! Congratulations, Ayato! I'm so proud of you! You're learning! You, you smart 14-year-olds! What a hero! I can actually move while the uh, pop-up happens as well, but it pauses the enemies. Weird! Here, we're, we're gonna lose that anyway, because it was Act 50, but... Or 49, sorry. That's absolutely fine. You can also see he has, like, the... He's holding his head, similar... To like the other mass Kaneki, but there's no Kagune in the Kaneki Toka one. Either way, that is the new Kaneki and Toka mixed unit. I will be maxing them out um, once I get more sweep cards. Unfortunately, I just don't have the investment to actually do here. Um, I think they are quite... The word I would use is decent. I, I wouldn't use the word good. Um... We also have the 5 star here. Kaneki, or Ken Kaneki's attack increased by 30% after killing an enemy, lasting 20 seconds. Toki Kirishima's cooldown of charge resets after Toki Kirishima kills an enemy. That is actually really good of a 5 star. Um, it does cost you going really hard on the festival during this time. So I don't know entirely about that, personally. However, I'm probably going to end up getting them a 5 or a 4 star at least anyway. I am moving towards this 50, and tomorrow I'm probably going to end up getting the last of that done. So, yeah. Um. I think I'm going to enjoy playing as them in the future. And I think I'm going to end up coming back sometime soon when they are maxed out a little bit further and test them out even more. Um. And hopefully the next person they drop on Dark War will be... I'm... Hope... Actually. Wah! Hey! You were added. I actually didn't remember someone commenting about Kuroiwa Proto, but I went into this menu here. I didn't actually see his... That's where his shards are. They aren't in the first section of this. They're in the 6,000 section of this. Wow, that's that's an oof from me. 12,000 diamonds you get, then a Shiro. You get a bunch of shards. You get an Arata set for 30,000. Oh, okay. So I guess Kuro Iwa Proto, the one that bonds with the other Shinohara, actually was added to the game. I looked at this previously and didn't see him because I didn't scroll down, but... Huh. That is... interesting. What is his moveset then? I actually wanted to go ahead and check this out as well. So he bonds with Noro, he bonds with himself and Shinohara, he bonds with the Shinohara Proto, Bonds with Taki Hirako and Rima Ixa. Very, very similar bonds to Shinohara, actually. Um, and he is an MT character version of things. So, like, it's actually really good. Because uh, if you have Shinohara and you use them both side by side, you're going to want their bonds to be similar. So, that's really good for early game investment. Solid stuff. Uh, we do have the new upgrades here. We have the defense coat. Actually, that's good that they added these for these new characters. We also have his first, which is Rock Blow. Launch a heavy blow at the enemies in front, stunning all enemies for three seconds. We have Prohibition. Quickly get rid of everyone's alcohol. Or jump into air and launch an attack in an area in front, disabling enemies from casting skills for six seconds. Enemies that use skills within this time will be stunned for 3 seconds and dealt or dealt damage by 5% of Kuro Iwa's maximum HP. That sounds fucking broken, quite frankly. So it's a disable that if they aren't conscious of the disable happening, whenever they use it, they get stunned and take a bunch of damage because he's an MT character and his health is his highest stat. 
That is really, really good. Of course he's top-up only. Of course he's top-up only! God damn it! Okay, we also have Fiery Explosion, which is the accumulated power of Kuro Iwa's Queen K explodes, dealing great damage to enemies around him. So, I guess his Queen K has a charge mechanic? I didn't realize he was a, a Ikaku-style Bonkai, but that's real neato. Also have Tenacity, which is increase armor and restore 1.5 maximum HP when dodging an attack. We have another dodge type character. Now I don't see any synergy with dodging other than him just having that 5%. But even so, interesting. Uh, we also have his growth rates. We have damage amplify minus 20%. Damage resist plus 30% is really solid for his first star. Obviously, you get him a 3-star guaranteed, but even so. So he gains a dodge 12% um, off his 4-star, which is nice. And his 5-star turns from what it was before into giving the power from the Queen K explodes, blah, 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 blah. During the time the accumulation absorb, or during the time of the time accumulation, absorb all damage the team receives and cause extra damage equal to 50% of damage absorbed after the explosion. So he has, I'm imagining it's similar to Kuro Iwa's set, or um, Shinohara's second, where he like explodes outwards. Imagining he like charges up, takes everything into him, and then just blows it out. Blows out his own ass and just blows it everywhere. Huh. He actually does sound quite good at 5 star. Obviously, 5 star Kuro Iwa always costs a pretty penny and probably isn't that worth it for right now. Um, he does sound to be really good. Also, just having a straight counter to stuff like this, absorbing all damage, and having that go off when you first start a level fighting like a Noro, for example. Noro pops their third, pops their first, you absorb all of that damage, which is, which is like 2 million per hit, and then you blow out their own ass and destroy the entire squad around them with all the damage that you took. That sounds really, really solid for what he does have. I also like the art for him. I actually find... His back looks a lot more normal than the Arata Proto um, on Shinohara. There's something about Shinohara's feels wrong. There's also clipping texture on it, obviously. But, like, his... Is it his flat butt that bothers me? It might be. It actually totally might be. No, it's, it's fine. It's just something about, like, his back looks more proportionate. Maybe it's the posture? Actually, yeah, Kuro Iwa, good job of having the best posture I've ever seen inside Tokyo Ghoul Dark War. Proud of you. You go, dude. His model actually looks really good. The Kuro Iwa face, it looks well textured. Either way, I am very happy about this. Also, is, does he have red eyes? Do they both have red eyes in proto form? I didn't realize that having a, a Kakuja on you gives you... I didn't realize that you get high when you wear Arata. That's, that's true strength right there. Fascinating. Anyway, as I was saying before, thank you for watching Tokyo Ghoul Dark War. We'll be coming back sometime soon to get more investments done, and Kaneki and Toka are real neato. See you guys next time, take it easy, and bye for now.